Hello viewers. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss class 12 or second PUC physics chapter 1, that is electric charges and fields, from basic to advanced level. So watch till end, don't forget to subscribe the channel. If you want PDF copy, just comment PDF. Let's start one by one. Chapter 1, Electric Charges and Fields Electrostatics is a branch of physics which deals with the study of electric charge at rest. Or, it is a branch of physics which deals with the study of force, electric field and potential due to electric charge at rest. What is an electric charge? Electric charge is a basic property of a body due to which the body attracts or repels another body. Charge is a scalar quantity. SI unit of charge is column denoted by capital C. Types of charges, there are two types. 1. Positive charge. 2. Negative charge. By convention. The charge on proton is taken as positive charge. The charge on electron is taken as negative charge. The charges were named as positive and negative by an American scientist Benjamin Franklin. Neutral body or uncharged body. The body is said to be neutral if it has no charge. Example, atom. Charged body or electrified body. The body is said to be charged if it has net charge. Example, ion. Polarity of charge. The property which differentiate the two types of charges is called polarity of charge. Note 1. When two bodies are rubbed together, then electrons are transferred from one body to another body. The body which loses an electron becomes positively charged body and the body which gains an electron becomes negatively charged body. 2. Addition of electrons gives negatively charged body and removal of electrons gives positively charged body. 3. Thales of Miletus was the first scientist who discovered the fact that an umber rubbed with silk or wool attracts the light objects. It was around 600 BC. 4. Mass of a body is always is positive, whereas charge can be either positive or negative. 5. When the substance listed in column 1 are rubbed with the substances listed in column 2, then the substances in column 1 acquire the positive charge, and the substance in column 2 acquires negative charges. They are glass rod with silk cloth, cat skin or fur, and ebonite rod, woolen cloth and umber rod. Woolen cloth and plastic. Woolen cloth and rubber. Let's look into brief explanation. It was observed that if two glass rods rubbed with wool or silk cloth are brought close to each other, they repel each other. The two strands of wool or two pieces of silk cloth with which the rods were rubbed also repel each other. Two plastic rods rubbed with cat's fur repelled. Each other, figure, B, but attracted the fa. The plastic rod attracts the glass rod, figure, C, and repel the silk or wool with which the glass rod is rubbed. The glass rod repels the fa. Conclusions There were only two kinds of an entry which is called the electric charge. There are two kinds of electrification and we find that. One like charges repel, and 2. Unlike charges attract each other. When a glass rod is rubbed with silk, the rod acquires one kind of charge and the silk acquires the second kind of charge. This is true for any pair of objects that are rubbed to be electrified. Now if the electrified glass rod is brought in contact with silk, with which it was rubbed, they no longer attract each other. They also do not attract or repel other light objects as they did on being electrified. Thus, the charges acquired after rubbing are lost when the charged bodies are brought in contact. 
unlike charges acquired by the objects neutralize or nullify each other's effect. Next, a brief explanation about electroscope for extra knowledge. Electroscope It is a device used to detect the charge on a body. Gold leaf electroscope It is one type of electroscope used to detect charge on a body. Construction It consists of a vertical metal rod kept on a box. A metal knob is present at the upper end and gold leaves are attached at bottom end of a metal rod. When a charged object touches the metal knob at the top of the rod, charge flows onto the leaves and they diverge. The degree of divergence is an indicator of the amount of charge. Next look into conductor and insulators. Conductor The substance which allows the charges to pass through it easily is called conductor. Examples, all metals, copper, aluminium, e.g. that is silver, Fe that is iron, etc., the human body, animal body and earth. Note When a conductor is charged then charges are distributed over the entire surface of the conductor. Insulator The substance which does not allow the charges to pass through it is called insulator. Example, wood, plastic, diamond, glass, etc. Note if some charge is put on an insulator, it stays at the same place. That is the charge doesn't get distributed over the surface of insulator. Basic Properties of Electric Charge Point Charge If the sizes of charged bodies are very small as compared to the distances between them, we treat them as point charges. All the charge content of the body is assumed to be concentrated at one point in space. Next, basic unit of charge or elementary charge or fundamental charge. The charge on an electron or proton is called basic unit of charge or elementary charge. It is denoted by the letter E. The value of elementary charge is E is equal to 1.60 to 192 into 10 to the power minus 19 column. Note 1. Charge on electron is equal to minus E is equal to minus 1.60 to into 10 to the power minus 19 column. 2. Charge on proton is equal to plus E is equal to plus 1.60 to into 10 to the power minus 19 column. Therefore, magnitude of charge on electron and proton is equal. 3. Charge on neutron is equal to 0. 4. The least possible amount of charge that can exist independently in the nature is called elementary charge. Next we discuss about Basic properties of electric charge 1. Additivity of charges Charge has magnitude but no direction, similar to mass. However, there is one difference between mass and charge. Mass of a body is always positive whereas a charge can be either positive or negative. Charges can be added algebraically, that is, if a system contains positive charges plus Q1, plus Q2, plus Q3 and negative charges. Minus Q4 minus Q5 minus Q6. Then, total charges of a system or net charge is equal to plus Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 minus Q4 minus Q5 minus Q6. Example If a system contains the charges plus 5 column, plus 2 column, minus 3 column and minus 2 column. Then, net charge is equal to 5 column plus 2 column minus 3 column minus 2 column is equal to plus 2 column. 2. Charge is conserved. Conservation of charge states that the total charge of an isolated system remains always constant, that is, total charge of the isolated system can neither be created nor be destroyed but there is a transfer of electrons from one body to another body. Therefore charge is conserved. Example An unstable nucleus neutron is converted into proton and electron. A neutron turns into a proton and an electron. 
The proton and electron thus created have equal and opposite charges and the total charge is zero before and after the creation. That is, neutron is equal to proton plus electron. According to law of conservation of charge, charge on neutron is equal to charge on proton plus charge on electron. Zero is equal to plus E minus E. That is, zero is equal to zero. Three. Quantization of charge. The charge on a body is always an integral multiple of charge on electron. Quantization of charge means charge on a body can be increased or decreased in steps of E. Charge on a body is given by expression for quantization of charge. Q is equal to Ne, where N is equal to number of electrons added or removed from the body. Q is equal to charge on a body. E is equal to elementary charge is equal to 1.60 to into 10 to the power minus 19 column. SI unit of charge is column, denoted by C. Quantization of charge was experimentally demonstrated by our daughter Millikan through his Aldrop experiment. Quantization of charge was first suggested by the experimental laws of electrolysis discovered by Faraday. The force of attraction or repulsion between two charges at rest is called electrostatic force. In short, the basic properties of electric charge. 1. The electric charge is conserved. 2. The electric charge is quantized. 3. The charge is additive. 4. Like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. 5. Charge is scalar, its SI unit is column. Examples If 10 to the power 9 electrons move out of a body to another body every second, how much time is required to get a total charge of 1C on the other body? Solution In 1 second 10 to the power 9 electrons move out of the body. Therefore, the charge given out in 1 second is is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 column into 10 to the power 9. Is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 column. The time required to accumulate a charge of one column for every second B. That is is equal to one column divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 column per second. On simplification, we get 6.25 into 10 to the power minus 9 second. To convert from seconds to year, divide 6.25 into 10 to the power minus 9 second by 365 into 24 into 3600. Finally we get 198 years. Thus to collect a charge of one column from a body from which 10 to the power 9 electrons move out every second, we will need approximately 200 years. In the next video, starts with Column's Law. If you want PDF copy just comment PDF. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe the channel for more updates.